Hi, I'm Dr. Carlos Valdez, founder and director of MercadotecniVentas.com, marketing and sales. Our mission is to educate and inspire students, academics, and professionals in marketing and sales. We concentrate on generating innovative and practical content to help you create value in customer life. Every week, we publish content on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and of course, on our website, MercadoTechniVentas.com. One more educational content. Visit our store where 90% of our content is free. If you want to support us, you can purchase our ebook, The Red Manual for Marketing and Sales Coordinators 2025, or our course, B2B Sales Leadership AI Tactics. You can download also for free our reports like the 10 Key Trends for Marketing Directors 2025, the 10 Key Trends for Commercial Directors 2025, and AI in Marketing and Sales 2025. All right. The title for our video audio blog post of this week, March 22nd of 2025, is The Mathematics of Marketing and Sales. So let's get started. Marketing is not just about big creative ideas or eye-catching campaigns. Behind every ad and every strategy, there's a numerical foundation that allows us to measure the real impact of our decisions. In this sense, numbers are essential allies to answer questions like, what is the return of investment of our last campaigns? Are we acquiring our customers in a profitable way? How much do our sales represent over a specific given period of time? And how many customers decide to stay with us over time? Just as an example of a couple of questions. In this edition of our weekly blog, we're going to explore seven essential metrics that every marketing and sales professional should master to make better decisions, optimize resources, and maximize results. We're going to show the formula and a practical example and recommendations for each. The seven formulas that we're going to review are, number one, total sales. Number two, the return on investment. Number three, conversion rate. Number four, customer acquisition cost. Number five, customer lifetime value. Number six, customer retention rate. And number seven, break even point. Let's start with number one, total sales. Total sales represent the overall amount of income generated during a specific period. Knowing this figure will help you to evaluate your company's general health and set realistic growth goals. It also allows you to analyze how each product or service line contributes to the global revenue. So the formula is very simple, the revenue generated by all the transactions during a specific period of time. Some of the recommendations are the uh, following. Monitor trends. Watch if your sales increase or decrease during certain months or seasons and adjust promotional strategies accordingly. Identify the star products. Those that generate most of your total sales can be the focus of stronger marketing campaigns. And compare with other metrics. You can contrast your total sales with customer acquisition costs or customer lifetime value to access the profitability and sustainability of your commercial strategies. All right, so number one, total sales. Number two, return on investment. The return of the investment is fundamental metric to understand the profitability of your marketing efforts. It clearly shows whether the money invested in a campaign produced profit or not. This metric allows you to compare different strategies, for example, social media campaigns versus Google ads, and determine where you get the best results. In the screen, you will see the formula that is return of the investment equal revenue generated minus campaign cost divided by the campaign cost 
multiply by 100. The example, if a campaign generated $10,000 in revenue and cost $2,000, then the formula is the return of the investment equal 10,000 minus 2,000 divided by 2,000 multiplied by 100 equals 400%. That means that every dollar invested, you gain $4. Recommendations, segment your audience. Direct your ads only to those with high purchase intent to optimize investment and increase your return of the investment. Analyze and adjust in real time. With AI tools, you can pause underperforming campaigns and boost those with better results. And number three, test different channels. Measuring the return of the investment by channel helps you know where to concentrate your advertising efforts like email, social media, and so on. Number three, conversion rate. Conversion rate helps you to determine how well your, your turn traffic or attention into concrete actions such as purchase, registration, or downloads. A high conversion rate indicates that your message, your offer, and your purchase process align with the audience needs. A low conversion rate suggests that something in your cell phone or use user experience needs improvement. On the screen, you see the formula. Conversion rate equals the number of conversions divided by the total number of visits or clicks multiplied by 100. The example, if your website received 1,000 visits and 50 completed purchase, then the formula or the example is conversion rate equals 50 divided by 1,000 multiplied by 100, and that means the result 5%, 5% of conversion rate. Recommendations, optimize your landing page. Ensure your messages are clear, forms are short, and the value proposition is attractive. Also, you can use A-B testing. Experiment with different calls to action, different layouts, and image to find the most effective combination. And number three, personalize the experience. With AI and machine learning, you can segment users to show them, to show them relevant offers of uh, products and increasing conversion probability. All right, number four, customer acquisition costs. Customer acquisition reflects the efficiency on your acquisition strategies. A high customer acquisition cost indicates that you are spending too much to acquire customers, which can hurt profitability. On the other hand, a low customer acquisition cost suggests that your acquisition process is efficient. Comparing customer acquisition uh, costs with customer lifetime value helps to determine if your business is sustainable in the long term. In the screen, you see the formula, customer acquisition cost equals total marketing and sales cost over a period of time divided by the new customer acquired during that period of time. Example, if your company spent $30,000 and acquired 300 new customers, then the Example is customer acquisition cost equals 30,000 divided by 300 equals $100. You spend $100 to acquire each new customer. Recommendations. Identify the most profitable channels. Determine where you spend less and get more customers and concentrate your budget there. Automate processes. Use marketing automation tools to reduce costs and improve efficiency. Improve your sales funnel. Reduce friction at each stage. Contact, consideration, purchase to lower your customer acquisition costs. Number five, customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value estimates the total revenue a customer generates through the relationship with your business. Knowing this value helps you decide how much you can invest in acquisition and retention without compromising profitability. A high customer lifetime value usually indicates customer satisfaction and loyalty. On, in the screen, you see the formula, customer lifetime value equals the average ticket 
multiplies by purchase frequency, multiplied by relationship duration. The example, if a customer spends $50 per purchase by twice per month and stays active for 12 months, customer lifetime value equals 50 multiplied by two, multiplied by 12, result $1,200. Recommendations, loyalty programs, offer discounts, points, or special perks to encourage recurring purchases. Upselling and cross-selling increase the average ticket by offering complementary products or services. Personalization, use AI to recommend, purchase, uh, to recommend products based on purchase history to increase frequency and value. Number six, customer retention rate. Customer retention rate measures customer loyalty and how well you keep them active. A high retention rate usually indicates satisfaction with your product or service. On the other hand, low retention signals potential issues with customer experience, product quality, or post-sale service. In the screen, you see the formula. Retention rate equals customers at the end of the period divided by new customers acquired in that period, customers, and then divided by customers at the start of the period, multiplied by 100. The example, if you start a quarter with 1,000 customers, gain 200 new, new ones, and end it with a total of 1,115 customers, then the formula is retention rate equals 1,115, sorry, minus 200, divided by 1,000, and then multiply by 100 equals 95% of customer retention rate. Recommendations, satisfaction service. Find out why customers may leave your brand and act accordingly. A strong post-sell services, providing timely help and support, build trust and reduce uh, shown rates. And loyalty programs, benefits or reward for repeat customers, increase the chances they stay. And last formula, number seven, break even point. The break-even point tells you how many units you must sell to avoid losses. It's a key metric for setting prices, strategies, evaluating product launches, and understanding the financial viability of the campaigns. In the screen, you see the formula. Break-even point equals fixed cost divided by the price per unit minus variable cost. Example, if your fixed costs are $10,000 per month, your product sells for $100 and each unit costs $60 to produce, then break even point equals 10,000 divided by 100 minus 60 equals 250 units. You need to sell 250 units to cover your cost and start making a profit. Recommendations calculate the break even point before la launching a new product or campaigns. Reduce variable costs to lower the break-even point. Revisit your break-even point regularly as cost and prices changes. Align sales targets with your break-even volume and use it to evaluate investment risk and profitability timing. In conclusion, marketing becomes truly powerful when creativity is combined with numerical analysis. Calculating and understanding metrics like the, these allows you to make strategic decisions, optimize your budget, and scale your business more efficiently. With the support of artificial intelligence, these metrics reach a new level of accuracy and predictability. AI tools help you filter large volume of data, detect patterns, and most importantly, take action in real time to improve your key indicators. In the, best, in the vast majority of small and medium-sized businesses, the marketing and sales team consists of just one person, a marketing and sales coordinator, or a very small team led by the coordinator. That is why I recommend you get our Red Manual for Marketing and Sales Coordinators, where you find practical guidance on the key points you should focus on in your role in 2025 to be successful, and how to integrate AI into all your processes as your marketing assistant. Available now in our store at MercadoTechnicVentas.com. Thank you for your attention. And like always, 
Remember that in marketing and sales, we need to generate value. Thank you again and until next time.